What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to take you through five dope hairstyles for spring summer 2019. Welcome back to my channel everyone, my name's Dylan in case this is your first time visiting and if this is your first time visiting don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. So in this video I'm going to take you through 5 dope hairstyles for summer 2019. 5 hairstyles that are really on trend and ones that you'll see tons of people rocking. Now I always tell people that they shouldn't be scared to change up their hairstyle, you should always change up your hairstyle every now and then, you don't want to be rocking the hair same hairstyle from when you're 10 years old to when you're 80 years old. Switch it up, do different things, try different colours, different lengths. Do all different types of things because the amazing thing about your hair if you cut it short it will grow back if you grow it long and you don't like it you can always cut it short it's not something that you change and it's going to be like that forever it always grows back so if you want to experiment and try new things always go ahead with it okay so the first hairstyle that i'm going to talk to you guys about is a i don't know what all these hairstyles are called so i'm just going to give them my own names but it's a textured crop so this hairstyle is one that you'll see tons of this year and i've already started seeing a lot of people rocking this hairstyle now this hairstyle is generally you have a much shorter side so you might have a fade on the sides or a taper depending on which one suits your face shape better but then on the top you're going to have a lot of texture in the top of your hair it's going to be fairly short really texturized and you're going to have it going flat and forward so flat and forward with a little bit of a fringe super textured and it just creates a really really great contrast between the top and the sides because you've got the thicker longer hair on the top and the really short sides this hairstyle is also amazing because it takes like hardly any time to do it it's super quick and easy and it's really easy to maintain as well so if you're going to your barbers and you want to get this hairstyle take a picture obviously always helps the other thing to ask them for is whether you want a fade or a taper on the sides depending on what you prefer some people don't like going super short with a fade the other thing to do is when you get them to cut the top of your hair ask them to add in a lot of texture so they need to cut into the hair they might need to thin it out a little bit depending on how thick it is and then when it comes to styling blow dry it blow drying always helps the hair to set well and maybe use some salt sprays and things like that to help you get that extra texture in your hair so the next hairstyle that i'm going to talk about is one that seems to always be around but it's going to be super popular this year especially and that is the quiff now this is the type of hairstyle i'm rocking and i sort of switch between a quiff and a textured crop now and then but with the quiff, it's going to be slight, di slight differences on everyone, so everyone can do it slightly differently. I tend to go for a skin fade on, on the sides. I normally have a skin fade, but it's been like a week since I had a haircut and my hair grows super quick, so you can't see it now. But I usually go for a skin fade on the sides, and then on the top, it's just textured out, super messy, pretty short. And then I'll just texture it into a, either a textured crop, which was the last hairstyle, or I'll turn it into a quiff, which I've currently got right now. Both of them are super easy to do, super stylish, and it's a hairstyle that you'll see tons of people rocking this year. To style the quiff, you can just blow dry it and then just blow dry the front of your hair up. Blow dry it all messy and then once you get your product, get the product, put it in the back of your hair first. Always enter product in the back of your hair first before the front because you don't want to overload the front. And then just give it a good old rummage, make it all messy, finally come to the front of the quiff and just flick it up at the front and you create a really nice messy look. Now the third hairstyle that I'm going to talk to you about is one that I am, I, I really wish I could pull this hairstyle off and I really want to try it but I don't think it's going to suit me and that is the buzz cut. Now if you can pull this hairstyle off it is a dope hairstyle for many reasons but mainly because it doesn't mean that you have to do anything with your hair. You can literally wake up, get out of bed, get shower and go straight to work or go wherever you need to go. It requires no styling at all. The buzz cut, super short on the top and the sides as well. And depending on how you want to do it, once again with the others, you can change up the sides depending on your preference. I think a skin fade on the side looks dope with a buzz cut on top. It's a really masculine look and a really dope hairstyle to have. If you can pull this off, I'm definitely going to advise you to get it because it's super easy and it looks amazing. And for summer, the less hair the better because it means that you're not going to get super hot. So next up, we have a longer hairstyle. Now this hairstyle is also super popular, but if you don't have long hair, then you might need to grow your hair off for quite a while to get this longer hairstyle. Now this hairstyle is, uh, I'm going to call it a messy bob. So you've got a longer hairstyle probably down to your shoulders and maybe you'll have a parting, you'll have one side going this way and then the rest going to the other side but it's a really really long hairstyle, you could wear it in a man bun if you wanted to but a lot of people seem to be rocking this medium to long hairstyle in like a messy way so they've got the, um, the long hair looking pretty messy and dishevelled to give that really um, street and urban look but it looks really dope. Although it looks messy, it does take a lot of styling to get it to look like this. Now, if you don't have medium to long hair, this is gonna be a bit of a commitment for you to grow your hair. It is something I tried to do last year, but then I got fed up, so I got rid of it. But if you do do it, I think this hair hairstyle looks a lot better with lighter hair colors and darker. So if you've got a lighter hair color and you wanna grow it out and try this hairstyle, 
I advise it because I think it would look pretty dope. Okay, so the final haircut that I'm going to talk to you guys about, one that's been around for years it seems, but it's still on trend right now, and that is the undercut. Now you get an undercut and you can style it in plenty of different ways. Most people have it a lot longer on the top, and with the long length on the top, it gives you a lot of versatility. You can wear the hair slicked back in like a straight back, very, very slick look, or you could have it to one side and have a parting, which also looks dope. You can have a little pompadour with a tiny quiff at the front, which also looks great. That's the great thing about having an undercut with a longer top. It means that you can style your hair in different ways, depending on how you're feeling on the day. Now to switch up the undercut a little bit, make it a little bit different, you can always go for a skin fade on the side. I think skin fades are really in at the moment with that whole Peaky Blinders vibe. And having the skin fade on the side with, an, uh, with the longer length on the top, still keeping the different styles on the top, you're gonna create a really dope contrast and it's gonna look amazing. Okay, so that's all from this video. That's five he great hairstyles for spring and summer this year. I hope that I've given you some good information and some good insights into the type of hairstyles you could be rocking this year. If you are rocking a hairstyle which you've had for a long time, maybe it's time to switch it up, give it a try, give something new a try. You never know, it'll switch up your whole look, it'll switch up your whole vibe, and it's always nice to try something new. Let me know down in the comments below which hairstyle you're rocking right now, and which hairstyle out of the five I just showed you is your favourite. Are you thinking of switching up your hairstyle, or are you thinking to stay with what you've got right now? Is it something that's working well for you? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. But until next week, that's all from this video. Peace! Thank you.